This is the Managing Google Drive course, and this is Lesson 7, Extensions and Drive Backup. This lesson is going to focus on extensions and specifically one type of extension to help streamline your Google Drive experience. So let's talk first about Google Drive. We know that when you use Google Drive, one of the things you have to do in order to create a file is to go and open your drive, then select New, and then if I want to open a Google Doc, then I click on Google Docs, and I have a doc open. Now that process is kind of extensive. There are several steps involved, but maybe we want to get to a Google Doc faster. We want to create one faster on the fly because we want to take some notes. So instead of going through this whole process, we are going to install an extension that allows us to create files and manage those files within Google Drive in one browser tab. So first, let's go in and install that extension. So I'm going to open up a new tab. From that tab, I am going to go over here to where it says Apps. And then I am going to select the Chrome Web Store. I am then going to search for Google Docs Quick Create. And there's my Google Docs Quick Create extension. And now I'm going to add this extension to Chrome. Do I really want to add this extension? Yes, I do. And once I add this extension, you'll notice the icon now pop up in the extensions bar. For the sake of this video, I am going to take that extension icon and I am going to just move it over to the front of my extensions for easier access. I am now going to close my tabs and open up a new one. So now as I stated, let's say I want to create a doc very, very quickly. Well, we saw earlier how many steps it takes in order to create a brand new doc. Well, now using my extension, I can create a doc very quickly and on the fly. When I select the extension icon, a menu pops up and you can see all the Google apps that I can create right now. So I'm going to create a doc. And once I do so, a tab opens up with a blank doc ready to go for me to work on. Now, when you create this doc, currently it's in your My Drive folder. Let's say I want to organize this doc somewhere in one of the files within my drive. Well, I can still do that here without having to go into my drive. So I'm going to title this doc sample. And once I title it, you'll notice that this folder now has popped up. When I open up this folder, it opens up into my drive. And currently, this file is sitting in my drive. But I don't want it in there. I can move it into one of these folders, or from this little window, I can create in my drive a brand new folder. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to create a new folder. That folder I'm going to title Google Docs. My folder is now created. I'm going to move this file that I labeled sample into that folder. And now it tells me sample has been moved from my drive to Google Docs, which is the folder I just created. So now if I go back into my drive and I look for this folder, well, here's my Google Docs folder. And if I open it up, there is my sample Google Doc file. So you can see by using something like Google Docs Quick Create, how quickly I can access any one of the Google apps on the fly and have it ready to go when I need it without having to go through the various steps of opening up Google Drive and then creating the file.
Last video, we highlighted a certain extension and showed you how that extension can help with the workflow and overall efficiency of creating file types within Google Drive. But perhaps you want to delete some extensions or other extensions that you have installed and you no longer want in your browser. So this video is going to go over that process. In order to access all your extensions, I'm going to go over to the three dots. I am going to then scroll down to select settings. And then under settings, I'm going to go to the left hand side in this hamburger, which is the main menu, and scroll down to extensions and select that. Now a new tab opens. And within this tab, you'll see all the different extensions I have installed. And the one that we talked about recently and installed was the Google Docs Quick Create. Perhaps you installed it, you've had it there for a while, maybe it's not functional to you anymore, and you don't want it to show up in your extensions bar. So you can do two things. One, you can turn off that extension. And once you do so, you'll notice that the icon has disappeared or I can turn it back on and now the icon is back in my extensions bar. Or you can select remove and completely remove the extension from your browser. Now there are some extensions that are automatically loaded onto your Chrome browser and some of them you won't be able to remove. This here you'll notice is a student account and the student account has two GoGuardian extensions installed and you'll notice these sliders to turn that extension on and off are grayed out and I'm clicking and I cannot turn them off. So that was a quick look on how to turn off or remove Google Chrome extensions.